Hi, it's Nitz. Do you know those Kinder eggs where there's a chocolate egg and inside there's a tiny surprise? I thought it would be cool to uh, open one of those eggs and with whatever figure there is inside, we could build a diorama. That would be so cool. So let's just do it. Tastes like childhood memories. <laughs> After putting together all the pieces, we got a tiny donkey. And I'm really happy with that. I think it's really cool. And it comes with two poses, like the normal one, just standing around, and a more dynamic pose. And of course, I chose that one. So I had to use a lot of super glue and glue everything together. And to hold it in place, I used my fidget toy. Um, yeah, because otherwise it would have fallen apart. And of course there are many, many ugly gaps, so I had to fill them. And I thought about using polymer clay, like my normal, ordinary brand I use, I use Fimo. But I was scared of putting the donkey into the oven because I don't think he would have survived that. So I had to use green stuff, which is pretty cool. I mean, you have two components and you mix it and then you can use it for a while and after a while it hardens. It is pretty cool, but kind of expensive so i don't use it that often but yeah i just smushed it and squeezed it into these gaps and it worked pretty fine i tried to blend it to the body as well as i could and uh, yeah made these tiny snakes and so on and just pushed it inside these gaps um it was fun actually and now i try to imitate this what is it fur hair I mean you're watching the video you know what I mean right I don't know what this is called for a donkey I mean is it fur I guess um, yeah so I'm using a needle tool and making very very small scratches into the green stuff making sure not to touch it again um, filling some more gaps and then it had to harden and uh, the next day I used a light gray base coat to cover the green stuff and uh, the figure was kind of shiny and I didn't like that as well so I thought it would be cool to use acrylic paints to cover that and uh, yeah then I started painting some details like the hooves the feet gosh I'm so bad at this yeah the feet I guess and also oh gosh the hair the mane what is this oh my gosh i have absolutely no clue how to call this but yeah and i painted the inner parts of the ears and also the snout in a nice beige color and then i used a sponge to highlight some spots like the top of the ears and uh, the tail and I really didn't like how the eyes looked, so I started to repaint them and oh my gosh, that was challenging. I think painting eyes is one of the most complicated and uh, yeah, challenging things that you can do. Um, so yeah, that's why my forehead is almost kissing the table. And then I used a nice wash, which means that the paint is very, very liquid and uh, when you use it, it kind of yeah fills all those small details and uh, yeah i think that the fur looks more realistic and more dimensional is that a word yeah i guess you know what i mean <laughs> and then i dry brush everything just for a couple of highlights and now we can start creating the landscape i, I used some leftover XPS and just cut it to pieces with my knife just randomly and then also with my knife I gave it this stone-like earth-like texture kind of and I thought it would look boring if it only had one level so I decided to make another tiny rock thingy and glue it on top of it I used some glue and mixed it together with acrylic paint in a nice chocolate tone and I also used a little bit of sand um, yeah just to give it this extra texture <laughs>
Now we can start creating our very own landscape. And the first thing I did was I used glue and tried to create a tiny path with this very, very tiny sandstone mixture, kind of. And then I used more stones to make it look more interesting. And then I used my static grass applicator and used some yellowish fake grass. And um, I thought I'd use different colors of fake grass just to make it look more interesting. And uh, I would not recommend using or buying this static grass applicator because the quality is so low and yeah, it was kind of cheap. So yeah, don't buy this. After the yellowish fake grass was applied and the glue dry, um, I tried to kind of, yeah, get rid of the axis just with a very, very fluffy brush. And after that, I applied some more glue, a lot of glue, <laughs> and I used some green grass, which I just applied like this because I was scared of the static grass applicator. And now we can start building a fence and I had some leftover sticks from my photography diorama project I made, I don't know, two months ago or so, three months ago, I don't know. And uh, yeah, I reused them. I really like to keep material that I didn't use and use it for different projects. I'm not a fan of wasting stuff. So yeah, here's my tiny fence and I also had this tree lying around which is actually for railroad modeling stuff you can just buy those trees and i thought it looked kind of cool i also had these tiny mice also from a different project and i also decided to use them so yeah i just glued everything in place and uh yeah the last thing i had to add was the donkey and I really like how it turned out. I don't think that you could tell that this was a plastic Kinder Egg figurine. Um, yeah, I like it. I'm already super excited to read your feedback on this. Like, do you think it was a fun and cool project? Should I do more of this? I really like the results. So yeah, I'm, I'm curious what you think about that. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and leave a thumbs up and comment. And you know how this works, right? So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, here's the final result <laughs> and uh, see you in the next video, hopefully. Bye-bye.